This video is about friction. Friction is a force that opposes motion. So the frictional force is never going to cause a motion. It's never going to pull an object in a certain direction. It will only oppose the motion caused by another force. Friction occurs when an object is on a rough surface. So if we have a smooth surface, there is no friction. Friction is when we've got a rough surface. The maximum value friction can take is mu r, where mu is the coefficient of friction. The coefficient of friction, and that's a measure of how rough the surface is. And r is the normal reaction. So friction doesn't have to take its maximum value. It will only go up to the value it needs to, to stop the motion. But if it reaches its maximum value, that's called limiting friction. And the motion will continue. If the force, if the frictional force can't match the other force, then there will be an acceleration. Let's have a look at a question. So we've got a particle of mass five kilograms is at rest on a rough. So we've got friction horizontal plane. The coefficient of friction is 0 0.2. And we've got a force X newtons applied to the particle. And we want to know, will it remain at rest or accelerate? So it's not moving up and down. So the first thing we can say is that R force the normal reaction must be 5g that's the force needed to stop it moving up and down so we know it was at, re at rest on the plane so it can't be moving up or down it's not going to magically fly off the plane or go through the plane go through the surface so the forces have to be equal so r is 5g so friction or friction max, the maximum value of friction is mu r, which is 0 0.2 times 5g, which is g. We could say 9.8. I'll just write g for now. So the maximum value of friction is g, or I'll put 9.8. Okay, so if the force is 5 newtons, will it accelerate? So the maximum value of friction is 9.8 newtons, and we've got a force of 5 newtons to the right. So it won't move. It won't move. Friction will take a value of 5 newtons, and it will remain in equilibrium. It will remain still. So for, five, for a 5 newton force, it will remain at rest. For a 10 Newton force, however, that's bigger than 9.8 Newtons. So friction can't go any higher than 9.8. So that will cause an acceleration. So for a 10 Newton force, it will accelerate because friction's maximum value is 9.8. Okay, so the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. Will the particle remain at rest or accelerate? Okay, so this time we've got a force diagonally. So we need to split it up into its components. So we can say the horizontal component is 15 cos 20 and the vertical component is 15 sine 20. So if we say forces up equal forces down, forces up equal forces down, it's not going to be going up or going through the surface. So the forces up must be equal to the forces down. So the vertical upwards forces, we've got R. And we've got the component of this, which is 15 sine 20.
and they equal the forces down, which is 4G. So R in this case is 4G minus 15 sine 20. We can put that in the calculator. So 4 times 9.8 minus 15 sine 20. And that is 34 newtons. So we've got 34.0696785. So I'm going to use the whole number in my calculator, but I'm just going to write down 34 newtons as R. So the maximum value of friction is mu times R, which is 0 0.3 times R answer and that gives me 10 newtons so the maximum value of friction is 10 newtons or 10.02209936 will it remain at rest or accelerate so friction's maximum value is 10 newtons what force is going this way so that force is 15 cos 20. So it will accelerate if 15 cos 20 is bigger than 10. And if we put in the calculator 15 cos 20, we find out that that's 14 point zero nine etc. So it will accelerate because this is 14.1 the three significant figures and that is bigger than 10 so it will accelerate because friction can take its maximum value of 10 but that's not big enough to oppose the motion because the force to the right is 14 14.1 Okay, here's another question. So pause the video, give this one a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so we're gonna do forces up equal forces down. And that will find R. So forces up equal forces down. So going up, we've got R. And we've got 10 sine 40. And that is equal to forces going down, which is 5G. We know forces up equal forces down because it's not going to move up. It's not going to fly up into the air. And it's not going to go through the surface. So R is 5G minus 10 sine 40. We can type that in the calculator, 5 9.8 minus 10 sine 40, and that gives us 42.6 or 42.5721239. I'm going to leave that in the calculator. F max is mu times R, which is 0 0.2 times my answer. And that is, I'll put 8.5 newtons. It's 8.5144281181 in the calculator. So I'll just say F max is 8.5 newtons. So it's going to accelerate if the horizontal part of this falls, so 10 cos 40 is bigger than friction max, which is 8.5. So 10 cos 40 is 7.66. So it won't accelerate. So that's 7.66, the three significant figures. It is not bigger, so it will not accelerate. So friction will take 
a value equal to 7.66 and it will remain at rest. So it remains at rest.